Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure and set up the email alerts or email notifications for users at risk, right? And how that is going to be set up and how it is going to be uh, delivered those email notifications to the respective people within the organization. So now the question might be who are those people who are going to receive those notifications, right? So those people would be on a certain roles, obviously, certain roles as an including the global administrator across the Microsoft Entra as well as Microsoft 365 ecosystem, right? That's the one of the role where which has highly privileges within the subscription, within the tenant and all the notifications majorly beat any changes or any that is coming out of from out from Microsoft side that Microsoft is uh, going to roll out something new. If there are any changes that are coming up, all those notifications are going to be sent out to that email note or that role or the person who has that role activated on it, right? So there are a number of roles which has or uh, there are a number of roles where those email notifications are sent, right? So typically uh, there are roles which includes global administrator, security administrator, security reader, right? These are the default roles where all those notifications are sent automatically, automatically as an as soon as uh, individual, any individual in the organization is active, right? And then uh, they have this role or any of these roles assigned, then definitely they would be notified with all those notifications, right? And there is a limit of it, a limit as in we get or we have an option to select uh, or we have an option, at least we get to add 20 accounts or 20 members where or whoever is going to get those notifications on those emails, right? So uh, minimum 20 is the limit there where we can expect those notifications from the system and those can be taken upon taken up taken further for any investigations any uh, verification any changes and anything that that organization and their respective team is going to work on and maybe do the further steps right but in this video i'm going to uh, majorly show you how we can set it up and configure it it is nothing hard and fast it is just uh, enabling few uh, steps there and then you should be good to go right so let me share my screen and I'll show you how we can do that in action, right? Instead of just talking about it. Uh, let me share it quickly here. All right. So yeah, here I'm in Entra admin portal, right? I'll go back from the beginning and you should be able to see it clearly. All right. So I'm in the Entra portal and you can see all the uh, Entra admin portal capabilities, but we need to go to protection, then identity protection here, and then scroll down a bit here and you need to click on this. So this is that setting I was talking about, users at risk detected alerts, right? And if I click on this, you can see that uh, there are default roles or default people, right, who has uh, this user risk detected alerts enabled by default, right? Why? Because these are the people who have these respective roles assigned to it. And then that is when those were added into this configurations automatically so that they would be notified of all those alerts, right? And you can see that there is an option for us to add it as well. Let's say I wanted to add uh, maybe I can add this one. I think this is already added, but let me try it added. So this is showing it is already added here. Uh, let me hit delete this one. Maybe I'll simply add any other. Uh, let's try again here. Perfect. So here's the option or email address that I have added, right? And then 
if I added it here, then now you can see that it doesn't have any roles assigned within the enter tenant. That is why it is not showing me that option or because this is going to be automatically picked up here. We don't really need to select that uh, option or which role it has. Instead, it should have appropriate role assigned beforehand so that it is going to automatically pick it up and then we can or it is going to be added simply. So we can add such entries uh, around 20 entries are available or allowed here and we can add it here and then it is going to simply be notifying us. Now at the end of this here on the screen you can see alerts on user risk levels at or above level uh, which includes low level, medium level and high level right. So we get options to select and choose whichever is uh, option we wanted to target and get notified on right if i'm selecting high that means i'm going to get all the alerts with the high risk and above right and if i'm selecting medium that means all the alerts generated for medium risk levels it is going to be notifying to all those people who are part of this list here right let's say go ahead and save it for now Perfect. You can see that it is saved here, but it really doesn't have the role assigned any. That is why it is not showing it appropriately and I'm getting option to delete it here because it is not fully enabled or added. And for other options, you can see that I get options to enable or disable. Simply I can disable it and save this change. Right. So if I don't want this account to be added or be a part of this list, to get notified then i can simply go ahead and disable it and then it is going to simply stop that email notifications to be delivered right and further on this is that here we have option which is called as weekly digest right it is going to send those notifications on all those emails which we have added here in this list above there's also option for us to download it as a csv file so that we can Take a look how many people are there who is currently active in any of these roles in the organization and if we need to keep it active or we need to disable it and whatever it is right so we can take that actions further as well so let's go back to the weekly digest here option and from here we can also take actions like enable it or disable it as appropriate and we can go ahead and save the changes here you see that send weekly digest emails. So this is going to notify us with that email, right? So it is going to send an email and let's say I wanted to disable it and bus, but I wanted to get an email. So I'll just simply save it and it is going to simply save that change. So you can see it is disabled now for this user account and it is not going to be delivered to that account. Now the actual email, how it is going to look alike, right? So before that, let's move to the settings. This is not relevant to this option, but this is one of the options here as well. Uh, but before that, I will simply go to Outlook and I will show you the uh, email notifications or how it looks like. Okay, here's the email. You can see that. Okay, perfect. I'll just simply open it fully so that you get to see it, how it looks like. So this is the real-time email notification that was sent to my account, right? And here's the subject line, which says that enter ID protection weekly digest, right? Because I have enabled it for the tenant and that is what it is simply showing us. And you can see that it is the sender ID is this one, MS security at no reply at Microsoft.com. Right. And then I have enabled the external banners. That is why it is simply showing is from outside your organization and the caution as well. Right. And then you can see the real example here which is going to show us new risky users detected currently zero and new risky sign-ins detected in real time 
total are six, right? So you as an administrator or be it a security admin or be it an entry admin or anyone who is going to work on these activities, definitely they can go ahead and work on it. Let's say if I do click on this link because this is a hyperlink here, right? And let me minimize it. Uh, seems it is not opening. Let me go ahead and, okay, yep. Now it is opening because from that email pop-up, it was not mm. redirecting, but now it is redirecting. <laughs> so now if here you can see that it has landed me to the identity protection again. And from here I can go to those events. Uh, it is going to show me. So here are the three risky sign-ins. And if I wanted to go ahead and click on it, or it is simply showing me where and which locations those are in, right? And here you can see three access using the valid account detected at sign-in level. So if you click on it, you will see that all of records here. Also, the easiest way to get that is at the report level or under the report risky users. We saw there were six, right? So if you wanted to see that, we can simply enable it here. And I will simply select all because I believe this was very older one and that is why it is not showing up at all and it should show up here so let's say risky sign-ins so let's we change the time period maybe last one month because i'm not using this heavily so maybe it doesn't have the appropriate records to show right here but if you are going to or if you have a big organization tenant at least minimum 100 to 500 users or more, then definitely there would be uh, multiple records to show and then you can take further actions. Right? So, yeah, just wait for... Maybe it is just trying to load it, but it is not simply... It is taking a time to load. So this is the one of the easiest way to go ahead and see even if you don't get redirection from here and uh, start working and identifying those right you risk sign in detected and everything then you can come back here and then find it from here and take the appropriate actions right so yeah that is all for this video i wanted to show you and Yep, that's all for this video. Uh, hope you like it. Please do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues and whoever needs to watch and see. And yep, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.